Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best value on tickets to Broadway and beyond in cities around the world. Book your tickets months in advance or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. Right now, Today Ticks is having their winter theater sale with up to 50% off on Broadway tickets. See that show you've always wanted to see or discover something you'll love just as much for even less. Get $20 off your first purchase with code COMEDYTIX at todaytix.com slash comedytix. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Carrie, people are always saying to me, Quinn, can you please stop talking about this gruesome murder? It's my toddler's birthday party. You're wrecking the vibe. Yeah, or they'll say something like, stop talking about fetal abduction. This is my baby shower. (laughs) I mean, what's wrong with these people? We tell great stories. I know, but what if they couldn't tell us to stop? (laughs) Like we were going to stop anyway. (laughs) I'm Quinlan Bosner. And I'm Carrie Ipema. Crime of a Lifetime tells true crime stories in vivid detail. And features badass women. Well, sometimes just bad women. From heists and con artists to classic whodunit murders, we're bringing you incredible crime stories each week. You can hear us every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. ACAST recommends. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Are you okay? I'm a little bit better. What's going on? I was, I'm, I am, and I was much more sick, but I am sick. Yeah. So, here we are. Late. Sick and late. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't happen often to me. No, you even, you came home from work early and then traded days to have today off work? Yeah. That doesn't happen. No. 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 So sorry for my nasaliness. Yeah. Yeah. You you sound like shit. Thanks. Honestly. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. It means a lot. You know? <laughs> so do you remember <sighs> what happened in chapter one? Uh, that Cyrus guy, he was like kind of cool to the Israelites and gave them some of their shit back and said, here you go, go back home. Yeah. He counted out their stuff to Shesh Bazaar, the prince of Judah. And I really hate myself because I missed an opportunity to go Shesh Bazaar. Shesh bizarre, shesh bizarre, shep bizarre. What? How bizarre. I I have no idea what you're talking about. You never heard that song? How bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre. Literally no clue what you're talking about. Okay, well, I'll have to play it for you and you'll have to link it in the notes because I'm not pulling this song out of my ass. I believe you. I just don't know what you're talking about. So Okay. All right. Well, so you'll anyway, know it when you hear it, and I didn't do it wrong. I, I believe you. Okay. So that was um, Ezra chapter one. Sure as fuck was. I'm so used to saying first or second. I, I know. Out of my it's head. just Ezra. It's just Ezra chapter one. Capable Ezra, not better than Ezra. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be doing... Ezra chapter two. All right, let's do this. Okie dokie. Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best value on tickets to Broadway and beyond in cities around the world. Book your tickets months in advance or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. 
Right now, Today Takes is having their winter theater sale with up to 50% off on Broadway tickets. See that show you've always wanted to see or discover something you'll love just as much for even less. Get $20 off your first purchase with code COMEDYTIX at todaytix.com slash COMEDYTIX. Okay, we are back with Ezra Chapter 2. Yes, we are. And now tell me about Shesh Bazaar. Yeah, I was, I was, I was wrong. I, I don't, I do know the song. Mm-hmm. I just always thought it said something else because I'm stupid. You thought that they were saying "Help is on," yeah, instead of "How bizarre." I mean, I never really paid that much attention to the band or yeah. the lyrics of it, you know. And it's like a one-hit wonder. I found out because, yeah. like, I never heard of it's OMC. OMC. Who the fuck is OMC? I don't know. It's something old. Oh, something millionaire club. Or right, something right. Yeah, is what it stands for. But yeah, yeah. It was a really good song. Yeah. Shesh Bazaar. <laughs> Shesh Bazaar. Shesh Bazaar. Shesh Bazaar. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, now these are the people of the province who came up from the captivity of the exiles, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had taken captive to Babylon. Parentheses voice. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah, each to their own town, in company with Zerubbabel, Joshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Reliah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvi, Riam, and Bana. I kind of wonder how far past this whole thing. Like when did when Nebuchadnezzar, when Nebuchadnezzar like took them captive, right? Mm-hmm. To when this s- is seventy years later. Seventy years later. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't the same people going back. Probably most for the most part. Right. It was you know a whole new set of people A going whole back new to their generation old, that probably never even knew their fucking homeland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. The list of the men of the people of Israel, the descendants of Parash, uh, 2,172, of Shephatiah, 372. Oh, I accidentally scrolled myself away. Oh, man, I hate yeah. it when that happens. Of Arah, 775, of Pehath Moab, through the line of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, of Elam, 1,254 of Zatu, 954 of Zakai, 760 of Benai, 642 of Babai, 623 of Azgad, 1222 of Adonikam, 666 ooh, of ooh, yeah. Bigvi, 2056 of Adin, 455 of Atir through Hezekiah, 98 of Bazai, 323 of Jorah, 112 of Hasham, 223 of Gabar, 95 the men of Bethlehem, Jesus. 123 of Nedepha, 56 of Anathoth, <laughs> 128 of Asmaveth, 42 of Kariath, Jerem, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743 of Rama and Geba, 621 of Mikmash, Paddywhack, <laughs> <laughs> 122 of Bethel and Ai. 223 of Nebo, 52 of Magbish, 156 of the other Elam, you know, the other one. Yeah, that one. 1254 of Haram, 320 of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725 of Jericho, 345 and of Sanaa, 3630. The priests. Okay. Of Emir, 1052. Of Pashur, Pashur, 1247. Of Haram, 1017. The Levites, oh, that was a period, the end. the end. Yeah. The Levites, the musicians, the gatekeepers of the temple, the oh temple boy. servants, Kiros, Sahaya, no, wait, Padon. The, how, do they, how do they have these jobs still if it's been 70 years? Like Lebanon, <laughs> Gaba, Akub, Hagab, Shalmai, Hanan, Gadel, Gahar, Ria, Rezin, Nakoda, Gazam, Uza. Pasea, Bazai, Asna, Minim, Nephusim, Backbook. Backbook? Backbook, Paddywhack, mm. give it up. That, that wasn't yeah. where I was no, going with that, no. no. Hakufa, Harher, Basleth, Mahida, Harsha, Barkos, Sisera, Tama, Naziah, and Hadifa. Let us not forget that we were merely trying to read the Bible, get through the Bible, <laughs> 
And so... Well, if we picked a day to do one late and mm-hmm. then, like, have another one shortly after, yeah. this is a good day. Yeah, this is the good they'd be one. like, this one sucked, we'll just move on to the next one. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, totally, yeah. totally. But again, mingle, read the Bible, get through it. And we're right. doing it together, you guys. Yeah, that's right. The descendants of the servants of Solomon, Jala, Darkin, Gadel, Shephatiah, Hatil. The temple servants and the descendants of the servants of Solomon, 392. The following came up from the towns of Tel Malah, Tel Harsha, Karub, Adon, and Immer, but they could not show that their families were descended from Israel. Mm, that's a shame. The descendants of Deliah, Tobiah, and Nakoda, 652. And from among the priests, the descendants of Hobiah, Hakaz, and Barzillai, parentheses boys, a man who had married a daughter of Barzillai the Gileadite and was called by that name. Mm, okay. These searched for their family records, but they could not find them, and so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. Damn the bad luck. Yeah, that sucks. You're unclean just because they kept bad records? Yep. Man, that sucks. You should have had them write down things better. Huh. Shame on you for your descendants' right? crime. Right, that's dumb. The governor ordered them not to eat any of the most sacred food until there was a priest ministering with the Urim and the Thummim. Mm. Remember those things? I do, yeah. yeah. The Urim was... Those like, were like things on the... On the chest plates. Right, and yeah. What not and what have you. Yeah. Basically, it was like the the, the dice and the, <laughs> and the throwing the bones. Right. Yeah. The whole company numbered 42,360. Besides their 7,337 male and female slaves, of course. Right, of course. Of course. Gotta have those. And they also had 200 male and female singers, which apparently they also did not count. Right. You know. Right. Better better to be a singer than a slave, as, as the saying goes. I guess. But not much better, apparently. No, for fuck's sake. They had 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,000. 720 donkeys. Well, that's good. Gotta have a lot of ass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How much ass is too much ass? Uh, I don't know. Dead ass, though. When they arrived at the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, some of the heads of the families gave free will offerings toward the rebuilding of the house of God oh, on its nice. site. According to their ability, they gave to the treasury for this work 61,000 derricks of gold, 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priestly garments. Wow. The priests, the Levites, the musicians, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants settled in their own towns along with some of the other people, and the rest of the Israelites settled in their towns. The end. People settled in their towns, and there was a lot of them. Yeah. Sort of. But not really that many. They had a solid count of the people, and they settled. There was the like 42,000 altogether, and that's yeah. like the amount of one tribe prior to this. So yeah. That, they kind of slimmed their ranks Y'all dwindled. quite a bit dwindlers yeah all yeah. right so that was uh that was ezra chapter two very capable i get i wouldn't call it very capable it was capable maybe it wasn't even capable let's no. be honest yeah everything's better than ezra right okay how bizarre <laughs> <laughs> Shall bizarre all right so that was ezra chapter two sure as fuck was and tomorrow slash just a little bit from now mm-hmm. we will be back with ezra chapter three we'll see you guys then okie dokie Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. 
like and subscribe, leave an Apple review, join us on Twitter, support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best value on tickets to Broadway and beyond in cities around the world. Book your tickets months in advance or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. Right now, Today Ticks is having their winter theater sale with up to 50% off on Broadway tickets. See that show you've always wanted to see or discover something you'll love just as much for even less. Get $20 off your first purchase with code COMEDYTICKS at todayticks.com slash comedyticks. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Carrie, people are always saying to me, Quinn, can you please stop talking about this gruesome murder? It's my toddler's birthday party. You're wrecking the vibe. Yeah, or they'll say something like, stop talking about fetal abduction. This is my baby shower. (laughs) I mean, what's wrong with these people? We tell great stories. I know, but what if they couldn't tell us to stop? (laughs) Like we were going to stop anyway. (laughs) (laughs) I'm Quinlan Posner. And I'm Carrie Ipema. Crime of a Lifetime tells true crime stories in vivid detail. And features badass women. Well, sometimes just bad women. From heists and con artists to classic whodunit murders. We're bringing you incredible crime stories each week. You can hear us every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. ACAST, A-cast, A-cast, A-cast recommends. recommends.